Not far from the most sacred places in Jerusalem are exquisite dishes made with biblical ingredients. This means food cooked with artisan methods, using herbs and spices. The owner of this biblical restaurant is Moshe Bassan. He's a Jewish chef from Iraq. He specializes in ancient cuisine in the Middle East. It could be said he's an expert in archaeological gastronomy. I love the Bible. I love the Bible. So I'm finding the connections. I'm taking the hyssop that in the story of the Bible, Moses commanding the Israelites when they're leaving Egypt to take a bunch of hyssop to mark the door with three points with the blood of the lamb. The sign for the angel not to kill these people. This passion for Holy Scripture is transmitted through seven species. These are seven fruits mentioned in the Bible that belong to those lands. They are wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and dates. These are ingredients that are included in one way or another in the dishes. Since 2001, Moshe Bassan has been part of an initiative called Chefs for Peace. It's a group of around 30 Arab, Israeli, Jewish, Muslim, and Christian cooks. They're all convinced that sitting at a table and sharing a good meal can build bridges of peace and dialogue. I start making the food of my mother and her mother, my grandmother, and mothers from uh, the region, because I belong to a group called Chef de la Paz, uh, and we are Muslim and Israelis and uh, Jewish and uh, Christian. And my teachers all the time were mothers. And uh, these mothers making food that, for me, it's memories. By the time I found that it's all connected to the Bible. In his restaurant, the Eucalyptus, people from all over the world and all religions sit together. He says a good gastronomy does not know creed, race, or nationality. Food brings people together. When you're satisfied, when, when you eat, you open your mouth. You open your mouth, you also talk. When the real, there is a separation between people, that will, there will be happiness, that will be troubles and problems. For this reason, after eating at the eucalyptus, the chef wants his diners to not only be satisfied, but also to take with them the taste of a land capable of welcoming everyone. Mm -hmm.